I don't know if Drew is lying about this whole LeBron James situation, and I find that quite hilarious. <laughs> Y'all don't know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 episode, I don't know. Drew Sedora, the fedora, the lion feather princess girl who says she can drop, make you drop 21 pounds. How many? 21 pounds in three weeks. You're going to be somewhere in a cask if you, if you, girl, that's, that's way too much weight really, really quickly. That's not healthy at all. But we're on this episode of Housewives. We are wrapping up the conversation at dinner about Drew and Ralph's relationship and it being trash and all of these things and is he gay, is he straight, whatever. Sheree holds candy feet to the fire and said, hey girl, you went and ran back that stuff and you should have came and told me candy, you know, takes full responsibility and says, the full accountability and said, hey girl, I was wrong for that. Cause Sheree was pressed because Sheree been eating candy up in the confessional. She been wearing candy out. But baby, the way that Sheree was wearing candy out, Tyrone was wearing her out too, girl. Ain't no way in it. Ain't no way, baby. We gonna get to it. Um, Kenya gets irritated. She gets a text message from Mark. Mark said he cannot keep Brooklyn, he gotta go to work. That man is trash, trash, trash. But Kenya picked him. So, girl, both of y'all is trash, to be honest. Like, girl, she wanted that man so bad. She, like, the way she was dragging Portia said that she married, what's name for a check? She married that man for a, for a storyline for a check. Girl, it's a hot, flaming mess, but, but Mark is wrong for that, knowing she was out, if that's true. I don't know if that was, like, him texting. I don't know, girl. I don't know what to believe. But I did like that Marlo comforted her around that time. It was really, really nice and all the other stuff. And Candy was like, what's going on? da 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 Kumbaya, Sheree, and Drew apologize to each other. They seem like they're making up. Da, 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 girl, the girls go. It's the next day. It's a new day in the workroom. So Kenya and Sonya are walking around New York, girl. Let me tell y'all something. Sonya, man, can we spend a minute talking about Sonya, man? Can we? Can I? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sonya, man, is so. I did not know he used to play pro football, girl. That picture they played, they they showed of uh, uh, Sonya and her husband doing that in that Super Bowl. Oh my God, no wonder they got so many kids. I would have been shooting them out too. Pow! Pow! You want another one? Pow! Another one, thank you. Pow! Another one, thank you. Pow! I, every child who would have shot at me, I would have shot back out. Did I say that out loud? That was probably trash. But that man is fine. Dark skin, beautiful teeth, energy. I know he. I know he. Can you woo, woo, woo? <laughs> can you woo? I can woo all the woos you need. Uh, girl, that was a mess, honey. Um, but, girl, <laughs> um, Sonya is just kind of just saying that she's not really cool with um, with Drew. She said she don't know how to feel about her. She said, girl, it's not giving. And can you drag her too? It's just like, girl, she be lying. She talking about the drop it, weight loss stuff. It's giving Ponzi scheme. Girl, they eating Miss Drew Sador up. But you know what? All of y'all literally be doing points and scheme type stuff. All of y'all do. That's how y'all make y'all money. And Kenya was talking about her Kenya hair products and stuff. Kenya, the same shit that you selling in them Kenya hair products is the same stuff we can get somewhere else for like 30, 40% cheaper. You just white label and that shit. You putting your name on it and putting it on your site. Like, even though your site probably not crashing. Like Drew's is, girl, that stuff is white label. It's just not no real stuff. Girl, I remember they had drunk some of the, let's say it was another product in there, it was just water. I was screaming. And Kenya had a wig on this whole episode. <laughs> I just want to put that out. Like, but she had a whole wig and that hoe was rising up like thick crust from New York. <laughs> I think they do thin crust. Was it a Chicago deep dish? It was Chicago deep dish. It was rising up like crust, girl. I was like, all right, girl, can you more hair care? Can you more hair care? So they go back, they about to have dinner or lunch or something. I think it was like a lunch or something. Uh, and they playing the game, girl, what's the famous, most famous person who ever hit on you? I thought it was cute Todd saying, don't get, don't get nobody messed up. Don't matter get nobody fucked up or whatever. Um, Candy names Gerald LaVert. I thought that was cute. Can you woo woo? Cause ain't that his dad to do that? I thought that was cute. Candy with a fat man. I like it for her. I wonder how the loving was. It was probably good. Gerald, like he gives some some good love. You get some good love. Um, she said they got a song that's in the Disney vault. I'm glad that it's still on the hard drive and not out because girl, if it's giving anything like legs and 
hips and body, body. Let's get them, girl. I'm gonna scream. But I don't think Gerald LeVert will record no mess like that because he know better. Because he's the woo, woo, woo child. He knows better. Um, who else? Uh, Marlo said she used to date or talk to Gene Simmons and then Jazzy Faye. She said that nothing happened. She had only a little two by four weed. She's like, nothing happened because he had a girlfriend or something like that. Now, <laughs> the girls be talking in Atlanta, and this is not me. Like, girl, the girls be talking. That I, I've heard some stuff about Jazz and Faye, and girl, they, you know, they were saying that, you know, he used to have women as his beards and stuff. So, is, am I being messy too? I'm being messy, can messy boots. But I'm on a reporter. I mean, I'm a gay. I can do that. Uh, but is it? I don't. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all the stuff I'm hearing. I, you know, I really don't even care, to be honest. But um, that is funny that Marlo was. If that, that's funny that if it is true that Marlo was dating him or whatever, because she did hug him because they share an office. Candy and, and Jazzy Face share an office. But the girls, have, you know, they, they be talking, but they be saying everybody game in Atlanta, child. They be. Who did I say that out loud? What girl? The streets be talking. Um, but Jazzy Faye. We love Jazzy Faye. So Drew said she's talked to, she used to talk to the king of NM, the NBA. She said she used to talk to him and he used to listen to her songs while he was winning those games. Girl, the girls were saying LeBron James. Baby, let me tell you something. Bravo made sure to mute that name out because baby, let me tell you something. LeBron James, LeBron James, they would have put the heat of the night on Bravo. They were just reporting and saying that LeBron James is a billionaire um, as of something. Girl, we still celebrating billionaires. Inflation is kicking our ass. Kicking air, keeping working class for poor folks. <laughs> and we are here celebrating a billionaire. Like, y'all really think, I, I just need to stay, stay for a second. Talk to me. Let me talk to him. When I you come on paint this house with I love. Let me paint the truth. The odds of you becoming a billionaire are slim to none. You will not become a billionaire. It's virtually impossible. You're closer to being homeless and in poverty, even worse than being a billionaire. Stop celebrating billionaires. There's nothing to, su to support with that. You do not become a billionaire without um stealing resources and stealing stuff from other folks you that's what happens like you there is no there you, you there's no there is no ethical billionaire i'm just so tired of every time we see this oh a black person become a billionaire you will not be a billionaire it's not going to happen i'm just telling you girl it's just not i just be looking at that kind of crazy how folks be just out here oh girl i'm gonna be like girl what are we okay are we okay like we don't even, like girl are we okay healthcare like going to the hospital is putting folks in debt to the point that they're losing homes and stuff. And y'all out here celebrating billionaires could be me. Um, nobody believes um, Drew about this LeBron James situation. Who did Kenya Moore? Did Kenya Moore say she dated anybody or something? I don't know, but Kenya Moore said she wasn't putting the vibrating panties in. She said she ain't doing that dumb shit. She said I'm not Kenya. I'm not putting, I'm not putting no vibrating panties. She said I don't want no deal up my ass today, Candy. Very much giving Nene. I'm not putting. A, I'm not doing any of that. Um, Sheree shares the news that Tyrone can't make it. Won't be making it to dinner. Won't be doing it. He said it's too far away. It's too close. He don't want to mess up his parole, and he just don't make it. He just he don't make it to the thing. And you can tell Sheree is shook by that. Sheree is shook. So we getting it in the sprinter girl. It's giving. Put them panties on. Let me slide through, and they just everybody's bzz, bzz, everybody. Bzz, bzz, and it was just getting very weird. Everybody bzz, bzz, and Kenya was like, I'm not doing that. Kenya is like me when I'm running late. I hate running late. I hate running late. I be out here stressed out. Stressed out. It's just so much. I would say, get that camera out of my face. I would have been, I would have been like Nene. Get out my closet, bitch. Get out my closet. But Kenya was um, late, but she got there. Um, they called a, a sprinter, but baby said some New York. You will be in traffic, and it'll be it'll be quicker for you just to walk. But baby, let me tell you something. The women said they is not walking in them heels. They put on the flips and uh, flip flops and flop their ass right onto that thing. 
Apparently, Candace play um, Thoughts of a Color Man was really good. I honestly wish I would have went to go see it, to be honest. If, if, if Candace play is, you know, whatever, if it's giving that, like, they said, they, everybody said, like, they felt like they were moved. I would go see it. And it's make, it makes me think about this conversation I had with somebody the other day who said that black folks do not go to the plays. Black people do go to the plays, but y'all are not giving them the plays that black people want to see. Y'all giving them the plays that y'all think black people want to see. Why is there a packed house of nothing but white people? Like, girl, I get so tired of folks using the excuse of black folks don't do this, black folks don't do this as a way to say they make black content. Like, girl, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Got to be dumb. Um, girl, I wasn't here for it. Um, they get back to the hotel, girl. They're having a little powwow, pajama party, all of the things. And they out here dragging the hell out of Drew and her dropping with Drew. Marlo going to the website. The website crash. <laughs> girl, they said she's giving, she giving points. It's key. Sonya said she had to have a conversation with um, Drew because she said, girl, they're definitely not friends. And Sonya was doing an interview with Candy on her YouTube channel. And Sonya just said that her and Drew are not friends. They're friendly. But when Sonya had the accident, she called Drew crying. It was other stuff that she did. And I'm just like, I don't want to take up for either one of them. But Sonya, it looks really weird. Like, this is really you digging into your housewife bag. And I'm like, girl, be careful. Like, she's digging into her housewife bag hard. Because Drew was like, girl, we're going to talk about this. That day, we could have talked about it. here. Why are you waiting until now? She waited but now because the cameras was rolling. She needs some, some camera time. But I think Sonya has done a good job for them to secure a next season, maybe, if the show ain't canceled by then. But I don't think she's a bad housewife. I don't think she's a bad... I just... I don't know. It just wasn't giving... I, I don't know if this conversation was even needed to be telling Drew that this, this, and that. Now, I did scream when it was just trying to tell the girl the website crashed. She said, oh, <laughs> everybody's on it. Well, I was saying, so many people. <laughs> Girl, the website wasn't working. I can't tell you how many folks I, I went on their Twitter accounts and Instagram bios, clicked the link, and it just crashed. It's nothing there. Nothing that was there but dirt and grass. Um, Girl, scream. I think that's the only thing they talked about. I can't really remember, to be honest. Um, I know that me and D had leave, and they went and did their own stuff because stuff was starting to get messy. But they left before it got there. They, Todd already knows. Todd said he'd been on this train for a minute. It's not giving that. He said he he getting off right now. Um, girl, they take their ass to bed. Girl, we get to Sheree going up, drove. She didn't roll in the sprinter all the way to Philadelphia, an hour, two hour drive to go see this man because it's closer to where he, you know, his jail is at to meet him for lunch. Baby, they did not show up. Tyrone did not show up. Sheree was sitting out there for 30 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half waiting on this man. And producers had to come in and say, hey, girl, Sheree, he's not coming, girl. The attorney said he's not coming. The, like, he's nervous or something. Sheree was upset. It was so bad. Like, and I think the producers tried to make it look less bad. But, girl, they said Sheree wanted to sit out there for them two hours and wait on this man. He never did show up. I don't know why Sheree, I don't know why Sheree did not even realize that he might not show up giving that he didn't show up to New York. So you're going to go out your way and y'all ain't do, mm -mm, no man, can you post on your page? Mm -mm, I would have been doing none of that. Just she calling him, him not answering. The phone is going to the voicemail, it's beep, beep, beep. I was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no, girl. I just was like, I, I, I couldn't do it. I hate that for po po Sheree, girl. Like, it was really sad. It was really sad. She FaceTimed Kenya. You can tell she was about to cry. She called her daughter. Her daughter was upset. Like, like her daughter was trying to comfort her. Girl, I don't know what was going on. It was just so weird. She's like, Grandma calling. Girl, her daughter said, Bitch, I don't want to hear that dumbass shit, girl. You had that damn. <laughs> that man, the dumbass come off. <laughs> girl, that, sh that was so bad. Can you say it's gonna be okay, girl? Don't cry, baby Sheree. Baby Sheree. Uh, I don't know how I would respond. I would say, girl, it's okay. Let it out. Let it out, girl. Let it out. I don't know. I don't like telling folks, don't cry, girl. I don't know. It's so weird. It's like I let it out, girl. Let that shit out. Push it out. <laughs> but uh, Sheree was going through it, girl. She was around her. 
She said, I get tired. Like, girl, this man is in jail, Sheree. J A I L. He in jail, girl. He in jail. That man went and got his own booty. He said, Sheree ain't giving no coochie. All right. Got it from somebody else. Next episode of Housewives. Look like Sheree and Kenya got into it or somebody. Some other stuff is going on. I'm curious to see what next episode is giving. I don't think it's going to give much, but it does seem like it's a little bit of drama. But I'm curious about the drama. So not the drama. But yes, girl, um, this was a cute episode of Housewives of Atlanta. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about them. I don't know. But this was a cute episode. It was funny. It did the things that it needed to do for us to be entertained for a Sunday, girl. Tell me what y'all thought about this episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye!